Duke is the hero of all the engines. This is a story about him. It happened long ago when Peter Sam was called Stuart and Sir Handel Falcon. Many people came year after year to see the mountains and the lakes, and most of all, Duke. He always pulled his train, even on days when he didn't feel well. I mustn't disappoint my friends, he would say. Every morning, he took his passengers up the line and stopped anywhere they wanted. He whistled. Please be ready when I come back for you. Otherwise, we might miss your boat to the mainland, and that would never do. One day, Duke didn't feel well. He was short of steam and needed to rest. His driver and fireman had just finished clearing his tubes when Stuart bustled in. Hello, Grand Puff, he teased. Are you short of puff? Nothing of the sort. This is routine maintenance. Tell you what, went on Stuart. You're getting old. We must take care of you in case you break down. Hmph, <laughs> whoosh, Duke. That'll be the day. Duke couldn't stay cross for long. It was a lovely evening. Couldn't be better, couldn't be better, he chuntered happily. They began to climb, but Duke didn't mind. I've plenty of steam, he puffed. We'll be up in a couple of puffs. But soon, Duke's puffs changed to wheezes. His valves were leaking steam. It's not so easy. It's not so easy, he croaked. But I'll manage. At last, they reached the station. Duke's driver examined him carefully. Anxious passengers waited for news. Duke is going to take you to the harbor, but he might be late, said the conductor. So two engines are coming to help. You'll still catch your boat. Falcon buffered up in front. Poor old Grandpa, what a shame you've broken down. Beep, 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 teased Stuart. This is the day. He was coupled on behind. Are you ready, whistled Falcon. Yes, I am, replied Stuart, and away they went. When they reached the next station, the cavalcade split up. Falcon took Duke's passengers to the boat. Stewart headed Falcon's train, with Duke coupled behind. Fancy me rescuing Grandpa! This is the day! This is the day! He boasted. Poor old engine! Poor old engine! But Duke still had plenty of steam left in him. His valves sounded worse than they were. He and his driver had their own little joke ready. They waited until they reached the hill. Now, said his driver, Duke puffed and roared as though he was pushing the whole train's weight before him. The noise echoed everywhere. When they reached the last station, everyone cheered. What happened, asked the boy. They don't usually need two engines. Well, replied his father, Stuart broke down. Duke had to help him. It sounds as if he had a hard job, too. Duke and his driver's joke had worked. Fiddlesticks, exclaimed Stuart, and he vanished in a cloud of steam. Duke wheezed alongside. Poor old engine, he teased. It's no good, Stuart. You can't win. 